Hello, babies, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. Well, me and Duper and Mama's out here taking care of some business. We're going to get back in the house while we quarantine. I hope everybody is enjoying their time being home, enjoying your family. Please don't be one of these people that are complaining. I know some of you may feel like you're blocked in, closed in, but figure out some constructive things to do. I got a tongue twister right here. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Everything that the devil may be trying to take from you now, God is going to give it all back to you. Sometimes, even with people that's losing jobs and things going on in your life right now, sometimes it's a transition. Some of you have been wanting to start your own businesses. Some of you have been wanting to write books. Some of you have been wanting to do a lot of different things. Get in there and start that book you want to write. Start doing that business plan. Start Googling up things on the internet to get you from point A to point B with your business. You know, think of this as a time of opportunity, a time of reflection, a time of stepping out on that water and walking by faith and not by sight. Baby, it's all about perception, all about the way you perceive things to be. As a man thinketh, so is he. So if you think that you're not going to make it, if you think that you're going to not get another job, if you think that you're not going to be able to start that business, if you think that you can't write that book, if you think that you're closed in, if you think these things, they will be. But if you think positive, like, okay, this is a transition for me. This may be happening, but this is what's going to happen. God is going to work it out for my good. No matter what it looks like, God is going to work it out for our good. And look at the times that's going on right now. I'm going to tell y'all, babies. Everybody that's in your life, people you come in contact with, tell them to repent. The true prophets out here should be telling these people to repent. This is just the beginning of sorrow. This is the beginning of what's going to happen in our lives right now. We are in the last days. People say that. They quote the scriptures. They talk about the last days, the times, and, and all this kind of things. But when things begin to happen, because you're not been seeking God or fasting and praying, because a lot of you, all you've been doing is going to work. You ain't picked up your Bible, you ain't read, you ain't prayed, you ain't fast, you ain't did anything. So you're more in tune with your flesh than your spirit. But when you get in tune with your spirit, you're going to be encouraged. You're going to know that everything's going to work out. God's going to bring the scriptures back to your remembrance. Declare and decree the words of the Lord. I don't care what it looked like out here. I don't care what the president is saying. I don't care what the people on the cabinet is saying. Declare the words of the Lord. And God got a hedge of protection around his people. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. All we got to fear is fear itself. Fear itself. Most of us ain't ready to die. So anytime you go talking about death, people get scared because nobody want to die. Nobody wants to die. So that's why your fear is hitting you. Because nobody's like, oh, I don't want to die. I don't want to go away from here. You don't want to leave your families. But the only thing to fear is fear is to remember you are in the master's hand. He's going to take care of you. He's got a hedge of protection around you. And part of that hedge of protection is your word. Declare and decree the words of the Lord. Don't the words say they won't go out void? God won't send out his word to come back void. He won't do that. So, babies, just declare and decree the words of the Lord. And remember, as a man thinking, so is he. Change the way you're thinking about your situations. And get in there and enjoy your children. Enjoy your husbands. Enjoy the time with yourself. Do some things that you ain't been wanting to do. Try something new. Like my daughter said the other day, she want to know how to knit and crochet. Learn how to knit. Learn how to crochet. Learn how to sew. There's a lot of things on YouTube that you can learn how to do different kind of skills and stuff. Seek the Lord. Right now, the people of God should be praying and fasting and seeking the Lord like never before. And interceding for the people out here in this earth. Because there's so many people lost. It is truly a plague out here. You think about the scenario, what's going on. In Moses' time, what they do when he came to free God's people. They had to go in their houses, put the blood on their doorposts and stay in there. Till that storm passed over. While the Lord did what he had to do. So just be still. Stay in your houses. Don't come out. Let the Lord do what he got to do. And after a while to be passed over. Look, let me tell you something. The enemy can't do no more than God allows him to do. So just keep your front door swept around. So that if God do come get you, you go be with the Lord. 
you'll go be in the presence of the Lord. But sweep around your front door and keep it clean. Keep it clean. You know, with the leaven bread, keep the leaven out. Get the leaven out. Stop leaning to your flesh and your own understanding, but lean to God and let him direct your path. Babies, I love you. I don't have rights to this music. I want to put that in there as a disclaimer, but Lord, touch your people out here today, God. Touch their hearts, their minds, and their souls, God. Help them to think on things that are pure and just and loving and caring so that your spirit will be right with the master. Babies, I love you and so does God. Have a wonderful, 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 wonderful day. Smooth your sugar, workers. Remember, it's all about how you think. You want to say anything? Say hi, oh, Duper. Stay home. <laughs> Everybody stay home. <laughs> Get shit out of here. Stay home. <laughs> you heard it. Out of the mouth of babies, they shall teach you. Stay home. Love you, babies. Smooth your sugar, workers.